passenger plane with 66 people on board has crashed in central Iran. The airline now says it's too early to say whether anyone survived the crash, despite having earlier claimed all passengers and crew had died. Relatives at Yasuj Airport, where the plane was heading from Tehran, are not giving up hope. <laughs> Reports say ambulances cannot reach it as it's in a mountainous area. An emergency helicopter sent there was also unable to land due to bad weather. Press TV journalist Yusuf Jalali reports from Tehran. Just two minutes before the airplane would get to its destination, it crashed into Mount Dena, uh, some place near the city of Semirom, located in uh, the southern part of the province of Isfahan. So what happened that was that uh, due to adverse weather conditions, due to uh, foggy uh, weather, the pilot lost uh, its vision, lost his vision, and um, he was trying to find uh, um, a place where he can make an emergency landing. Uh, and according to eyewitnesses uh, in the city of Semirom, uh, he was trying to land and make an emergency landing uh, on a pasture near the city of Semirom in the province of Isfahan. But unfortunately, uh, on, on this process, uh, the plane crashed into Mount Dena. Mount Dena is located uh, in the southern part of the province of Isfahan and just in the north of Yasuj, where the air plane was destined. Uh, we do know that uh, 66 people were on board uh, the airplane, which is an ATR airplane, uh, and all of those uh, 66 people, six crew members and 60 passengers died uh, because of that incident, unfortunately. So Iran is in shock. The plane is a French-Italian short-haul aircraft. The model was first introduced at the end of the 80s, and the last time an Assaman Airlines plane crashed was 24 years ago. Back then, the plane suffered a sudden loss of power. 66 people were also killed in that disaster. The plane was operated by Assaman Airlines. This is the third largest carrier in Iran. It operates domestic and regional services.